If you would like to know how to draw a mane of a horse, this time-lapse drawing lesson is right for you. I explain step by step how I build up the layers of this forelock of a Spanish stallion. Before we dive in, I invite you to join my free Animal Art Week. It's a five days drawing experience, an online workshop where we will draw a sweet squirrel, a dog's eye, and you also get to draw a beautiful butterfly. Join in the link below in the description. I hope I see you there. This is a drawing lesson inside of my membership Animal Art Club where my students can draw the entire horse portrait. Today I show you how to draw the forelock in the following time-lapse video. Okay, so let's start with different red browns. Here I used a couple tellos and some pit pastel pencils. And then I'll start with the mid-tone and plot in different so orange and red browns for the base layer on the main on the forelock. I use here sanguine, it's an orange brown and plot in a thin base layer where the main has these lighter orange highlights. It's more like a black mane but this horse also has colors in the mane. So I put the colors in place and then I bring in deep dark black shadow areas with the soft pastel stick, the Rembrandt. This is a very deep dark black. I like to work with this one. And also let's bring in a bit of gray and caput mortum, this violet brown and a bit of um, a lighter caput mortum and red browns and other violets, Indian red and grays and also a bit of blue and then I blend here the base layer together with the finger. It's better to wear gloves or use blending tools that you don't bring in any oil or wax into your portrait. So like this paper stamp here, this is very great for blending your base layers, the edges for edges and so I always use the paper stamp for blending. I also use uh, so sponges or applicator tools or also uh, cotton swabs for blending. Then I blend the base layer really well together, all the colors, mix the colors together. I also use the paper stem sometimes for scratching in little strokes here and I start creating a nice first structure, the first layer. So I, I remove a little bit of the black and the color pigment with the paper stamp and build the first uh, base layer for the hair here. I go over again here with the paper stamp and then let's start building up the first structure, the hair structure of the mane here with different colors. I go again over with some lines with sanguine and some other reds and red browns. I prefer to work with the pit pastel pencils in animal portraits because they are harder but I also like to work a bit with the cappuccellos and my favorite black tool is the Rembrandt soft pastel sticks to darken down the shadow areas. The pit pastel pencils are a bit harder and perfect for drawing fine lines. And here I use a broader paper stamp for blending. I always blend over the layers, make them soft and smooth. Let's also add a bit of blue for this highlight area here and then add some highlights with light gray and white. So very thin lines, they can be a bit curved in the mane and crossing and overlapping. And uh, then I go uh, bring in these fine overlapping ends of the hairs over the background. Here I um, highly encourage you to work with a light hand, very little pressure and draw these fine details. Add another layer of black here, darken down some black shadow parts and always blend them that they are not gritty. Then I go again over here with some grays and I bring in blues. So building up 
fur and hair, it needs to draw a lot of layers with different colors. That's very important. Always let them also cross over the layers you have drawn before. Let them go a little bit in different directions and don't draw only straight lines here. Make them a little bit wavy, draw some curves, bring in again another red brown and blend over with the browns and the violet colors a bit. It's so important to use different colors. This makes your animal portraits more vivid, more lifelike, more realistic. Also bring in again a bit more black, darken down these shadow parts between the clumps of hairs. Also always look at your hair, your mane in clumps. There are overlapping uh, clumps and bring shadow in below them and then draw hairs along the clumps. Always follow the hair direction and build up here layer by layer uh, the, the fur or the hair in this case. I add then some highlights with ivory, this uh, creamy yellow and let some fine fluffy hairs cross here. This is also important to add these fine details let many many hairs cross and build this up. The lightest colors draw then finally to add some hair light, highlights and light reflections. And then I always go in and, and bring in some shadows again and make some corrections and add another details, another layer of details and go over again and again. This is so important and really draw uh, as far or so long until you are satisfied with your result. Go in with darks and then again with some highlights, bring in different colors. It's all a process of drawing many, many layers and find fluffy details here again at the end and refine it finally. And here you see the entire finished horse portrait inside of Animal Art Club My Drawing Membership. If you are interested, join the waitlist. You can find the link below in the description. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Tell me below in the comments if you have any questions or thoughts. Subscribe to my channel to see next videos. And I invite you to join Animal Art Week, the five days free online workshop that will come beginning of February. So you can join in the link below in the description. And then I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.